Greetings and salivations. This is the summer update. We've given the H2O Action News team the week off, though we may have a remote weather report from Legoland wherever he is. But we needed to bring a few things to your attention and thought video might be a fun way to do it this summer. So we have a special guest host. He works for free, much, much less of a drama queen than Winkleburger is. So, here we go. LT, you ready to take it? Hello, I'm LT. I'd like to welcome you to this week's announcements. Actually, they're this month's announcements. Man, it's good to be here with the H2O Action News. John Winkleberger is, uh, well, he's on summer break. He's probably doing nothing, just sitting on his couch in his underwear. Singing about being on his couch in his underwear. Oops. Now I am. Anyway, I'm bringing you this week's announcements. First up, we have Launch 2009. Launch is the new brand spanking H2O Middle School Junior High, whatever you want to call it, canoe trip. It's going to be August 16th and 17th and it's going to be about $30 but if money's an issue for you don't let it be mm -mm. we want you to be there if you're in 7th, 8th or ninth grade August 31st in fact if money's an issue Ask Pastor Brett. We'll find a way for you to get there. We're going to be on the Allegheny River and camping in the Buckaloons overnight. So bring a sleeping bag. And dress warm. I'm not dressed warm. See Pastor Brett for a brochure and a medical release form if you don't have one already. Next up, we have Wednesday Night Life Groups. These are summer small groups. In fact, we meet in our homes of the leaders every week. In fact, if you look to my left, your right, you'll see who's leading them. See Pastor Brett for details if you need an address or check the church's website for more details. Mm-hmm. And next we have the H2O Student Leadership Team. Yes, that's right. Student Leadership Team. This is for those of you in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade that want to learn how to be a better leader and will give you not only that, but will also give you the opportunity to put those skills to work. Cool, huh? So anyway, if you like to be a part of that, you need an application from Pastor Brett, and you need to return it to him completed by the 9th of August. If you can't commit to being a part of the team, or if you just aren't old enough yet, you can be a part of H2O anyway. We don't want to make you feel like you're not welcome. We want you to be involved. There are many things you can do, like help out with the videos, help out with music, all kinds of stuff. In fact, what's to my left is just a little bit of what you can do. There's tons of stuff. So, you help us out and figure out how we can help you be a part of everything. Next up, we have Lunch Bunch. Lunch Bunch is something very cool. It's very fancy. Not really. We just go out to Mead Park every Friday at noon. So bring your own lunch. 
and we read through Daniel. Then we just hang out, play some sports, maybe some b-ball, maybe some uh, soccer ball, some football, some ball ball, whatever we want. It's free. So be there. Last up, we have Serve Corey. Saturday, August 8th. We're going to get together and find some ways to be involved in serving Corey. Not be evolved, be involved and help serve the people around Corey who need help. You'll need to see Dale Higley for details. But if you don't see him for details and you don't come, he's going to look like this. Not really. But it's fun to do. So, make plans to be involved and help serve like scripture says. That's everything I've got for today. Thanks for being involved and thanks for helping us out. And thank you for listening. Maybe next time Winkleburger will get sick so I can come back. Y'all come back now, you hear? Welcome to the July and August edition of Jumpstart. I wanted to read to you from the book of Proverbs today, chapter 19, verse 20. What it says is, listen to advice and accept instruction, and in the end you will be wise. Now the book of Proverbs is full of these short little sayings that are they're nuggets of wisdom, really. And in the first few chapters it describes what wisdom is. It gives the personification of a, of a woman who's built a house and takes up residence. And the idea is it gives the reader a picture of what wisdom is supposed to look like. And then here's a bunch of practical advice for you. And this one is no different at all. You have this little nugget in the midst of all this great advice, it says, take the advice and listen to it. Accept the instruction. A lot of times when we all ask people for advice, we're only asking for someone to agree with us or to back us up. We really only want to hear something that agrees with what we've already decided that we want to do. So when it comes to your advice you're seeking, don't just look for people who are going to agree with you. Look for the people you know might disagree. Look for the people who are wise. Look for the people who've been through it before, who may have experienced what you're seeking advice on. And when they give you advice, don't ignore it. Use it to jumpstart the rest of your summer. This is Legoland here. And I can encounter the beach. I hear that it's over this ravine. But, right now, let's do the cow things. Hey Cal, what do you think about the beach? Awesome, it's gonna be fun. Me too. Well, let's check in with you. I can get to the top of this steep hill. Alright, 7,000 feet above sea level. Wow, that's really high. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed all that announcement -y goodness. I uh, hope something sticks with you. Don't forget, you can always check uh, CoreyFirst.org under the Youth tab for information you might have forgotten. Or hey, ask me. Love to share with you. And you can always, always watch this again. In fact, go to iTunes, search for H20 Submerge, and download it. It's a free podcast. It'll automatically update. All you got to do is subscribe. So we'll catch you guys on the flip side uh, maybe next time. Michael Berger's demands for uh, more makeup will be met. Alright.